Hello, once again, this is Vance here at Copy with Vance. Today, I mean, you don't need any introduction for this particular person. It's my partner, V. I'm going to bring her in because she's been, we've been doing a lot of live talks. So there she is. Hello, V. Hello, V. Hello, hello, hello. Are you doing good? Very good. Um, have to say very good. <laughs> Positively. Okay, it's been it's been some time. I must say coffee with once. So today I'm <laughs> having a coffee with once. <laughs> yeah, we have. So where's your coffee? You never bring your coffee? <laughs> I have Milo. Okay. Okay, Milo we, I, just posted, I just posted in my, my Facebook. So you just have to go and share okay. it. I apparently I can't okay. take you. So once that happens, then we can start our topic today. Yeah. All right, so today we're going to cover a bit of uh, interesting topics with uh, I call the double V, and 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 if you notice that every time we schedule for uh, a session for thirty minutes, and uh, most of the time it end, finishes almost about close to forty five minutes to fifty minutes. But this session that we have today is going to be very interactive, so you can actually come and uh, ask us questions. We're going to share our expertise. And those areas that we, we need to learn as well. So every day is a learning journey. Uh, yes. How about, Anita, have you shared already? I'm trying to. It's from my handphone, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. You just come to my page. I mean, come to my Vanan, my, my uh, Facebook. Come and to then your you Facebook, just, is it? Yeah, come to my Facebook and then you share it. Vanan. And, yes. and then from there, I share. That's right. You share it. <laughs> Apparently, I can't seem to tag you, so you need to do the share. Right. From, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from yeah, yeah, you just come to my page. I mean, come to my button, my, my uh, Facebook. Come to Facebook, just... is it? I need you yeah, to move your phone. Ah, okay. And then from there, I share. Because there's echoes coming up. Have you managed to do that? Is it okay now? Yeah, it's okay. Have you shared it? Yes. Okay, cool. So, Manisa, it's good to see after, what, uh, two months of uh, not coming live? We got a few months, la, less than a month. <laughs> I mean, you have been Looks doing like a lot months, of right? It's less than a month, actually. You've been doing a lot of talks yeah, COVID, as well. COVID, COVID, and the COVID circuit break, it's one month. Looks like uh, most of them are enjoying it, but some, it's been a terrible, uh, right? So, yes. we have to be grateful for whoever that's enjoying, but again, we have to be... You know, showing our uh, compassion and love to those who are not that enjoying any point of time. So, um, Banan, I've been seeing yeah. um, uh, so many Kopi um, stars with you. So, what have you been up to? What is your, what are you being up to? Like, you know, what have been, because today's topic is about um, unlearning. Yeah. Right, unlearning to learn new things, and yeah. I think that all of us have something to unlearn just during this period. It could be on That's career basis, it could be on personality basis. Yeah. What about you? I mean, seriously, I'm uh, I mean, <clears throat> copy with advance is something like uh, that's always very close to my heart, which I always wanted to do, but it's just that I have not identified the name, all right. And mm -hmm. um, I was sitting one night and I was discussing with my wife and said, Hey, I want to do something, you know. Um, at this point of time, you can notice that the social media, of course, is positive. I mean, there's a lot of uh, positiveness going on, but there's also equally the negative part, right? People are down with emotional stress, anxiety. Uh, people have lost their jobs. Uh, they go a little bit of off track. Routines have been disturbed. And um, so I thought, you know, this is the time that to bring in the experts all coming together because... It's a good more, idea, actually. Yeah. The moment when we realize that, you know, I know everything, that is where you are falling down very hard. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what I believe. So, copy events is just about uh, interaction sessions, but purely on information. Keep it simple, keep it short. So, we have psychologists, doctors, we've got nutritionists, motivation speakers, and even, even yourself today as an uh, image consultant coming in and sharing your experiences. So, we have different, different um, walks of people are coming in. Um, next week is going to be even more interesting because 
This last week, I finished all the doctors' uh, segment. So the upcoming are all about talent. So we have musicians, we have nurses, we have different different feel of people coming in to share their experience. So this platform is all about sharing and at the same time growing together. So that's that's about. Uh, that's nice. That's nice. And so how actually, they're you? looking for talents. You know, you can join. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> you go to uh, be in this is doing some talent lockdown Singapore. You should join there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but you know, apart from that, the, the business is also keeping it. Very busy as well. So a lot of online coaching and virtual is going on. How about you, That's Manita? Right. How has it been for you? Me, basically, it's about me. I come to a, a, a mindset like, you know, what I've not been doing, I'm doing right now. What I have been doing, I'm not really doing right now. So it's a, about a three mindset phase that I went through from a, from a victim point, from mm -hmm. a survivor point to a thriver uh, point of view so it's like a three mindset kind of a schedule that i'm putting myself in um so i'm opening up myself to things that i didn't was not receptive to accept because i want to learn new things and the and the last time i was not receptive of it because i was a uh, you know very skeptical about it but now we, it's all about unlearning and learning things to improve myself because now it's so difficult for me to do work and meet up people so how can I um, fine tune my business? How to fine tune um, the audience right now? Because what my audience previously is different, right? Their mindset. Now my audience mindset is different. So what can I give it to them? What can I give it to my customers? So I need to strategically change it. Um, so this is where the mindset is. Because now I have to be a thriver. No more of a survivor. No more victim mindset. I need to be yeah. thriving in a business. Yeah. And so I need to adapt to what's happening right now. So unlearning could be actually um, things that I was, uh, see, I'm not so much of, uh, um, you know, uh, needing new business, taking a risk taker. I'm not so much a risk taker. Now I'm willing to step out a little bit to be a risk taker because now if you don't take risk, you, you wouldn't be able to know what's good in for you um, because there's no things as testing. There's no such things as uh, uh, I'll think about it. See, now it's like if you don't move on with what's the right thing for you, it's, it's, you'll be losing out in the end. So, yeah, I'm a little bit more of a uh, risk taker. And um, like what you're doing, I'm also keep sharing and I'm getting connected with people globally. Um, so that this is because this is really the best time to build your credential, your branding, really, really, you know, because... Um, when the other time, when it's not really the COVID time, people, there are so many like us, so many like you, so many like us. But how do we attract our audience? How do we attract them? It's very difficult because everybody's doing something. But now it's different. Everybody's staying at home and watching us. So what can be the best time to improve ourselves, be even more um, consistently bring out ourselves? I think that's what I'm trying to do. So create initiatives. That doesn't mean that, you know, I cannot do events means I'm not going to stay put at home. I'm still creating something. Uh, uh, so, um, because I just ask people, you know, I ask my, my, my friends and clients, hey, you know, what do you want? Why are you feeling bored? No, I just create something for us. We're so bored at home. Uh, something for us. I was thinking, okay, la, Mother's Day thingy. Uh, some uh, some challenges, you know, something like to show, let them feel that, hey, they can still look good, uh, still can wear the makeup, still can get a reason to dress up, you know. So this kind of fun little initiatives, people feel good about it. Um, yeah, you know, if not on the makeup, uh, the satang la mold <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to keep using that, not it just become... A bit dusty yeah. and dusty. So pick up that clothes there. Have a reason to use your 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 products, your brushes, <laughs> oils, sweat, collect dust and mold. So I told them, okay, take this, do this, do that, and this is the best time to try it. All your makeup <clears> um, <throat> online. You know, you don't have to say, "Excuse me, I got no time." Stay at home, try different looks, show me your pictures, learn things. Um, I think because this is the way to be receptive to learn things and accept things. So. Initiative, creating initiatives to engage with my audience, engage with my customers. I think uh, we need you to create initiatives for them. You said it very Another well. Person, we need to unlearn, to relearn. 
Yeah. Because if you look at this point, um, even all the situations of most of the business owners, uh, entrepreneurs, I mean, some of course can't be able to bring it to virtual um, because of their, their, their yes. surroundings or their, their business models. But of course, they got, I'm sure they are evolving as what to plan ahead when things get better. But I think this period of time where we call it the down period or we call it the emotional period, whatever words that we choose to use it, right? It would definitely affect us mentally and physically. True. The worst, because, right? Uh, yeah. The routine has been totally been disturbed. Uh, you see, um, we have been following a routine for the past 20 years or 30 years, right? And suddenly you have been enclosed and say that, no, this is what you are supposed to do. And everything changes within a night and the circuit breaker. So routine has been disturbed. So eventually all the signs of possibility of depression, anxiety, stress will start to kick in as time comes back. So that is why uh, I think it's very good because I saw in your video that you did something like a night uh, yoga or spa or something. Ah, yeah. I'm learning yeah. face yoga, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, um, it's a very interesting thing. I mean, I'm not a yoga person. By uh, okay. If you know me, I'm not a yoga. I don't do yoga. Okay. But uh, being a very facial expression person and I want to connect with people on skincare and makeup. Um, I connected someone recently on this Instagram um, and uh, she was telling me, Vanita, why don't you um, get to know something about face yoga? So I was like very keen. What is this face yoga? It's all about. And um, she was very um, uh, informative. Um, she was learning. So she pulled me in to learn also. And, and because we don't realize that we have muscles on our face, uh, head and neck just like our body. So she was actually telling us how to actually use these muscles to um, minimize or actually extend premature aging. So isn't that, because all of us, rather than staying at home, feel sad, uh, give more wrinkles and um, become uh, age faster with all the stress. So use our face muscles to um, detox, to um, to create strength of face so that this helps to um, give ourselves the premature aging. Because you see, um, first of all, a lot of ladies, right? No more cell. Well, imagine yourself. There's no more. Um, it might take ages to uh, for a, for your aesthetics. Your facials might not come in. Your makeups might not be coming in. Your your. So what can you do at home to take care of your skin? To take care of your face muscles. So little things like this. Because Things outside we cannot control. So things that you can control within ourselves. So learn things to do to improve yourself. So this face yoga is so damn interesting. Funny, funny faces expression, but it has reasons. Um, so for your forehead, for example, I'm still learning. I'm, I'm not certified yet. I'm still learning. So for example, the forehead muscles, how do you extend so that people who have 11 um, lines here, how do you improve it? Those who have vertical lines, how do you improve it? those who are um, the nausea lines how do we improve it the slipping patterns uh, when you're slipping at the back and you're slipping at the side what these are also called the slipping wrinkles so how do we improvise the slipping wrinkles so these are very interesting things that i'm learning and um it's crazy because this this thing is so so um in depth and uh, i myself didn't know there were so many muscles around from the forehead, scalp, nose area, eyes area here. It's like so many muscles, you know, we are so improving our hand muscles, body muscles, our leg muscles, I'm sure you know. So face muscles is very interesting. So Apapa, you know, when I was doing ah, ooh, ooh, like this, uh, then my daughter goes like, Ma, what are you trying to prove? Uh, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm doing face muscles, face thing, face, uh, face exercise. Um, so yes. This is something very interesting and I'm trying to learn this to add on to my um, certification le uh, level later on. So it's to equip myself so that I can be a better, um, you know, trainer next time for people around us. Because this is a really a, a, a long time ancient um, method that not many people are aware of. So I'm so happy I'm learning it. I, in fact, later tonight, I'll be doing my first session webinar on um, sleeping to a restful night. Using nice. face yoga. There you go. So, so we got yes. to say that we got to say that this circuit breaker actually showed a lot of talent in us. Uh, why I say that is because if you look at it, we are always so engrossed, focused, laser focused, 
in the things that we do on a daily basis sometimes we just forget about talents sometimes some hidden talent some are like you can be able to learn it so this is the period where i find that everything just comes out um just to share with you something i actually explore a couple of things when i wasn't busy at all and i and i have used that over the past one month or so to make it even work really good so i think that a lot of talents are coming out i think that was very good we have a couple of ladies uh watching us right now on live so maybe okay. ladies if you have any questions or even for guys you can actually uh ask us in the comments and we can get vanita to uh, or even myself if it's a pertaining to god i can able to uh, address that few questions that you are coming up right can cake see that clam, cake clam, cake clam. Yeah. yeah so for example i am willing to give one show for example i am okay. willing to show one face yoga exercise like okay. that you is actually to um reduce puffiness you know after some time right mm -hmm. mid age crisis we tend to have chubby cheeks correct okay. so how do we actually reduce chubby cheeks mm -hmm. remember face yoga just like exercise you need to do repetitions you cannot say overnight changes right you need to do it repeatedly every single day to see the changes so for example you want to ensure your face the muscles are stronger and you don't have too chubby cheeks do the fish one fish sucking okay. mm. oh yeah Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh, okay. Mhm. Mm <laughs> mhm. Mm so what you do, you need to count 10 seconds. Interesting. So what you do, when you suck in and you pull out, you are actually creating muscles to your face. Like I mm. said, you need to do this repeatedly at least 8 rounds of these two sets. Okay? So this is one. Another one. is double chin now everybody will be sleeping and watching your handphone and you'll be having your double chin very soon okay so you don't want double chin what you need to do is actually you know look up and pull your muscle out mm -hmm. so when you do this you are actually stretching yourself up and down up and down So need to do this 10 times. Right? Okay. So you see, we need to know these are the some of the reasons why we have double chin and all that. So use this little techniques to have to help you to strengthen it. Okay? If not um pudichikittile ellarku humpty dumpty mari na kalthu vandro. Photo paathukitte. Uh so yes, so things like this helps us to improve a lot. So Ladies or uh, men Feel free to ask me any tips now. Um, they, are, they are retyping because the health, are... the health yoga is there. The all the health there. Face yoga, face exercise like in the cake club. <laughs> so this is the topic that we are jumping in. Things we can unlearn from guys. Of course, we have spoke about this. Um, I mean, there are few people. I'm sure you also have spoken to. Um, this was the period that ever in my entire career that I've spoken to so many people. engaged almost every day with calls conferences meetings and been also been invited to give some talks on bigger platforms like a conference big conference with more than 100 and 150 so the numbers are increasing so it's a blessed i got to say but i think one of the reasons why we both agreed to come up with this topic is there are some we can't say it's majority who who have this mindset you know what let covid settle then we talk about everything Oh, because we have all the help, we might not want. So it's not about the the effort, but it's rather than how one chooses to be. So I think it is the mind, the character, the discipline. So what do you think about that, Vanita? I mean, if if someone is unwilling to learn and move ahead, and then the person looks at other people and say, "Oh, my life is such," how do we? Or rather, I don't even understand how we're going to. looking forward after post covid right i mean the root of the problem i mean everybody has a problem why they want to procrastinate certain things um could be no finance support it could be no family support or there could be no support group to lead that person okay because you see how much we try to help someone even if i i can lead somebody hey come let's do this together if the other party is not willing to accept to learn things we can't do much right 
because things that we cannot control are things that's happening outside the covid circuit breaker the the the, the all the saga that's happening outside inside it's we ourselves you want to learn learn you want to do something do it you want to meet somebody online you've not done something do it because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow now it's a situation that we cannot plan what's going to happen ahead now we are planning everything what's going to do tomorrow 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 all right it's kind of difficult for us to plan things long ahead but we need to visualize it just like how you have visions before you need to visualize how do you want to direction yourself whether you are a professional person whether you're a stay home mom whether you are a a a, a student with whatever you are whoever you are whichever status you are there are certain roles of mindset you need to do like i say you cannot always be a victim you cannot always blame yourself ah ipidha nadakko you know if you're always going to be hailing yourself as victim you're a victim ma da irpinga if you want to be a survivor then you have to come out do something then you need to try for it look for somebody there's always help namba idu patti kelvi patirukom the universe is big in it you know mm-hmm. universe doesn't come to you you need to ask yourself because the universe is very generous seriously ninga kekkumbodhu nichchama adu vandu ungalukitta kadikum you need to open up your vision your eyes and your thoughts um one of the important things that i always um we you know i was um, i'm actually going through this experience your own good now by louis hay these are powerful oh. affirmations um really really because when i was with this book i got it when i was working uh, say about 9 years ago when i was working i went through this um, uh, certification training program and that time the affirmations and how the universe sees it is very different but now in the crisis when i take out this book and start reading in the last couple of weeks the whole thing starts recalling back because um nobody can help us right one and it's about yeah. us ungalku pasicha neenga saapra mari mattum potu kudukka mariyad right so it's same thing right you need to feed yourself nobody else can feed you it's it's, it's just there i, I got to agree you the right way you are going to die right so and that you know that there's a very famous quote i think uh, vijay sethupathi has said that the famous actor you know everybody just loves him right? he said that yenak pasikide na saapradhu one was it you know the kind of the attitude right is very important because at this point of time like i have mentioned many times or you have mentioned many times that if someone loses the determination confidence and the 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 strive forward attitude then there is a time that everything is not going to crumble anyone down but of course situations are very different from everyone all right some can be thinking slowly some are really thinking or some are really sent but i think uh, what we should be looking at is post covid 19 so i think post covid 19 is going to be a lot of uh, um, changes going to happen because i have seen cases especially myself in the fitness and holistic i've seen cases from depression to anxiety to stress in the highest level in the past where this is all about fitness exercises coaching and program but right now it's all about management right now so i think uh, we need to quickly get evolved from it because i can be a victim as well that's mm-hmm. that's right anyone can be a victim but is the question that you need to ask yourself do you want to be in that situation or do you want to change the situation because for these two questions if we don't have an answer the situation will change us immediately which is the covid-19 and if you look at the uh, economic side economically we are going under a recession right now right so many jobs have lost tourists is not coming down so it's actually a ripple effect that's happening to everyone but mm. there's also a very uh, proud movement where i got to say that some people just evolve quickly they start a business they move on they they change their job scope they lower down their pride and ego but still there's a few percentages still thriving still thriving right? still thriving but there's still few percentages the got ego you know what i will be there i will do it so for this i think it's going to be an effect because if they are not willing to change then it's going to be tough because either you're going to use up your savings and you're not looking forward or rather if you use up and you might fall into the trap because no one knows how long this is going to be even though there's going to be exactly. cool down beyond our control right that's beyond you know as long there is this virus around and if your immunity can't take well 
for being it's strong. It's going to be taking a long time to see back the normal again, actually. Okay. To, to be very frank, I mean, I'm hearing it from people from different parts of the world, one, you know. Yeah. Um, all the business, top business countries, Dubai, India, China, yeah. um, USA, we are going to be, there is even talk saying there's going to be a second big wave coming up. You know, we don't know what's going to happen. But instead of worrying what's not, you know, what's not within our control, things that's yeah. within our control, um, improving ourselves, connecting with people, uh, because social distancing um, doesn't mean you cannot social connecting, right, with people. Yeah. You want to learn, you meet people. You this is the time to check out all your name cards. Name cards are connect with them. You know, when you have gone for all your business networking, you've collected all the name cards and all that. Say hello to them right now. This is the best time. Um, so um, like post COVID-19, um, I was just hearing, sharing this one now. Um, I have one fellow friend. I think you also know one. And actually he's a handicap, you know, Wesley, right? Oh, physically challenged. Wesley, right? Yes, he's. Yeah, um, okay. You see, I I was so um, um, mess, you know, amazed by what he was sharing. You know, he and his wife were selling tissues, right, before the COVID, but now yeah. they are not able to do it because that's the way he he's he's handicapped and he's not able to go out now to sell. So how does he manage himself instead of you know complaining and unwinding and sell? People like him. We have still our hands. We still can go out to work. We can still find ways to, to do. But what about him? His wife is not so physically well. He's handicapped. Um, how do you, how does he see himself? In fact, whatever he was doing, he just created a new strategy to reach out to people. That is true. Keep on um, sharing it through his social media, um, creating new ideas to sell his books, sell his tissues, sell his t-shirts with motivational topics, with, with inspirational topics, um, you know, slogans on his T-shirts and all that. So people connect with this kind of people and, and buys from him. So he's doing a bundle kind of sales instead of individually. So you see, he's changed his strategy and he's not letting his uh, physical handicap to block him. Because now even he himself says, you know, this is going to be the future norm. People are not going to come and meet you often. People are not going to come and get it from you. They just want to meet you and say, okay, this is what I want. Okay, send it to me, quote it to me. You know, they don't need to physically meet you. So how else can he keep earning for himself? He needs to eat, right? How much can the government feed him? So when you think about post-COVID-19, we are basically improving what we are doing right now in a better way. Okay, what we want and what audience want has a little bit changed. And you have to change to that because the new norm is going to be very different. Seriously. Um, one example is um, recently a company has asked to write, um, you know, how can we dress look good behind from home? Okay. You know, no excuses to look unprofessional, even though you are from home, you know, employees still who are working from home, how can they still look professional? So now companies are going to, Except that people will not be want to go back to office. They want to work from home. You think so? Right, yes, Manan? Because people will be so so used to the fact that I don't want to go to office. I want to work from home, be with my family. Some people might like that that, that feeling. You know, you know, Vanita, for that, right? Uh, I've already seen the pattern has changed. Yes. People are becoming more comfortable in home. And some of uh, the trainees or clients that I spoke to, they said, you know, when up to this, we don't think I don't want to go to the gym anymore. So they have already decided they don't want to go to the gym anymore. I mean, I'm like, okay, but still you need to do at least about 30% of the time in the gym. He said, no, let's do outdoor. So people's perceptions are changing. Correct. And, and also you look at things like, you know, the rental for spaces, you know, landlords, are, you know, at this point of time, some are you know, accommodating, some are not accommodating. Um, so people are saying, you know what, let's move the whole businesses home. Uh, just for example, for sharing purposes, um, for myself at the moment, I used to have an office, but right now I've converted one of the rooms into my studio with lighting, nice. with multiple cameras, with my sound system and my streaming and program. So everything is now is online. So I think this is the new norm, which is going to be after the post COVID-19. Definitely. It, so you are already preparing yourself what's going to be, you know. You're not going to let go of your professional coaching. You know, you are going to reach out to a different kind of a group 
different target audience and people will see because when you want to learn people will come to you you know it's you 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 don't need to look for people when you are out there to show people that you're willing to teach and coach people will come to you because now people's perception has changed the paradigm shift of mine is very different right now um whether it's locally or it's globally people want to connect with you talents are seen just by uh, watching on online you know um they can make movies they can make a uh, little dramas out of just yeah. just just on screen if things like movies and and dramas and scripts can be just made like this i mean this is going to be the unusual norm but yeah this is because it's a new it's going to be a long long time before we can actually going to see some movies back in cinema because everything is going to be online seriously yeah, yeah, everything it's going to be so even movie directors i spoke to one director and he's mm -hmm. in australia he even shared with me vanita we are foreseeing that the technology is going to be improved uh, going to be changed and improved thing that we're going to do in such a way that we're going to do acting screen playing everything from wherever you are and can make a movie yeah. out of it so can you believe that you know from home they can create a a 2 hour movie so so things are changing so amazing really fast. right things are really changing fast um, i mean yes also, yes it's a little like scary a but mar to say you know we need to move on uh, what's going to happen so again again we coming back to this uh, couple of stuff that we always want to look at um when 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 someone is going under a difficult period of time uh, how can we um, be positive i mean that is that is a main thing right now because I'm sure in your walks of life. Positive. Or, yeah. <laughs> how how yeah. is one able to go into a pattern of uh, how shall I say be positive, and at the same time how can you be able to be an expert? Because I believe someone, every one of us are experts. But okay, lah. Then keep watching you. Keep watching me. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is what we, we we talked about most of the time. Even uh, when we do it, when we were doing our live chats at various places in Singapore, like restaurants and coffee beans, we always talk about that. But I think is be honest with yourself. They, they the, the 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 trend that I'm seeing right now is people do not want to approach for help. The one of the reason is that is because there's too much of ego, right? Ego. And, uh, ego yeah, I, and I I'm a person who. I mean, if really situation put situation puts me into a situation, real bad situation, let it be a cleaner. It's okay, right? Be a cleaner, or uh, be a whatever job that you do. You don't need to be ashamed of your status True. of that whatever that you are providing for your family. But I think we live in a society where we are constantly looking for approvals. We are constantly looking for people to judge us. I think that has been a been a, a pressure for some people not to take even a minor steps or minor changes. The one thing that I have taken an active role during this COVID is volunteering. So I go on a very periodization of um, mm -hmm. doing food. I don't want to mention where I, where I deliver because that's quite sensitive areas. Um, it's a bit challenging because I see people in a household. Where six kids and four kids and mom and dad, and you know the kind of help they needed is so much, uh, and I think whoever is helping, especially the our government, I mean we had to give mm -hmm. it credit that they are doing whatever they can, but of course at the end of the day it still boils back to us how we want to choose the road that is not yet travel. What about what do you think about that, Danita? Hmm. Okay, I mean, before answering your question, yeah. uh, recently I had a call from uh, a friend of mine. I mean, she's not really friend, but someone I know. She's actually a domestic helper presently oh. because now, if you realize, all domestic helpers cannot go out, no off mm -hmm. days, and everybody's staying at home. And she is telling me, Vanita, ma'am, it's so tiring. Um, every day have to cook, clean because more people at home. Mm -hmm. uh, no time to for herself. Okay, and she's feeling very negative because family out there also is also affected. She's in Indonesia. She's from Indonesia. Affected family there is she's getting a lot of negative, um, uh, you know, 
uh, from her family and she's also getting a lot of things you know the employee uh, employees giving a lot of um, headache you know every day uh, washing every day doing this and all that so she's constantly thinking Vanita ma'am how can I be happy person again you know she has lost her happiness working here she's been working the last eight years in Singapore and she said and then I told her you know what do you want from this I asked her one thing are you happy that you still got a job or are you um, unhappy that you uh, you want to leave this Singapore with no money that you know you don't have any money and you go back which one looking at it in a different perspective ask I asked her this thing there are so many other workers who has been sent back and no money to go back to home you know they're going to be starving or you know there's so many things but here you still have a job you still have the, the people around you um because you see the life has she has been so used to is like everybody goes home she has a lot of free time and now she hasn't got the time for herself and she's so you know bucked down with housework so when i asked her about this what was your reason you come to work is to earn money or to enjoy yourself and she said no madam i need the money so i told her you're, you're still being paid now that you see yourself because um it is about adapting herself so I told her how to be happy and I told and I and I told her ask your ma'am whether you can change new ways of cooking you know in, um, create new activities of cooking instead of just doing what they asked you to cook maybe you can challenge yourself and create new uh, different cooking activities um, get the children at home to participate with you or doing something because you work with them for eight years right so why don't you engage with them so create happiness rather than you yourself alone doing it and you feel so you know all bogged down so things like this um, to find ways to make herself happy because or else living in the household and not being happy to work together it's going to be so uh, you know it's going to be very long term because we don't know when is all this thing going to end so like a, answering to your question positiveness is that you need to know the reason the root of the actual pro problem and what you really want to improve yourself what is the reason that you see yourself waking up every morning there must be a graduation you know a feeling of uh, appreciation you know you know don't ask too much appreciate things that's around you look for little little things that's happening around you find happiness like um waking up for a reason you know you have food to eat on your table um you waking up you have some people around you to to joke with to to talk to um, so you need to find little things to keep you going. Your energy level shouldn't shouldn't go down because energy is what needs you to keep going positive. And the energy urumba irumba teva because mindset owner energy level. Um, so maybe like what you have been teaching exercise. Okay, exercise also cleans your mind, detox you, and prepares you for another day. You know, another one is to. Um, you need to think, keep clearing, you know, they say instead of keeping your cup full, keep clearing your cup, you know, they say, so that you have new things to put into your cup and improve yourself. See, positiveness is, uh, comes from you. Nobody else, I, you can have bring best speakers around the world to speak to you, but I think it all boils down to ourselves. And now, what's the reason that you are here? What's the reason that you, you have started something? Why do you feel sad about something? I think it starts from there. This is what I feel. The reason why I brought up the question is because I'm sure the uh, biggest thing that is going right now is, you know, the laziness has kicked in. Laziness. Yeah. But why do I have to say the word laziness? Is because there, there's, you know, it's, it's two ways that we can look at it. You know, one, we say, okay, this is the things that happened or this is happening or it will happen. What is the game plan? All right. So if you don't have a game plan, and if you do not have options, I mean, uh, I was sharing this with one of the uh, participants as well just a few days back that, you know, you always have one option, which is mean the plan A. No, you don't have a plan B or plan C. But what happens is when you don't have a plan B, C or the rest of the alphabet, then I think you are cornered without any solution. So it's okay to have multiple plans. You know, it's just like a like an option card. You know, when something fails, you put up another one, right? It's never about a failure. It's always about success. But if you don't taste the failure, you will never be able to succeed. Or even if the success comes to you, you don't feel as much as it's appreciated when you were failing before. So it's perfectly fine to fail. That's what I always say. 
Fail, fail, fail. Failure is good. Failure is great. But it only fails you if you don't move. It will definitely be better one step ahead. Of course, you plan. Nobody planned to fail. Yeah. But if you fail, it's fine. You've got to carry up yourself and move ahead to the next level and try it again or try in a different angle, try in a different position. There's one someone told me, oh, you know what? You failed. It's okay. It's not going to happen. I said, well, thank you for that motivation. So we've got to look at angles or look at options, how we fail. Or look at that, that taste, you know, that's like, yes, I have failed. I am a failure. The kind of... It's okay, like me, you know, I failed to lose the three kg that I've been wanted to lose. So it's okay. <laughs> But other than the Santo Puma place, Ramari, like you're very parallel. Three kg, you see, what's uh, most importantly, if I don't, if, three kg is um, okay. something that, you know, I, 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 I cannot keep changing the fact that, you know, I'm not able to lose the three kg. It's fine, you know, three kg put uh, Tolikati Parala, but at least I get the three kg of knowledge, no, find something else. Okay. <laughs> Oh, talking about it, actually, yeah. recently I got this book and it was so aptly, High mm -hmm. Performance of um, Habits. It's amazing. Seriously, in the book, Amanda. And one of it is Seeking Clarity, the habits. You need things, Seeking Clarity. And um, when you seek clarity on why you want to do certain things and your visions are very clear, the energy comes in. This is what the, 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 the writer was telling because high performance, all those top leaders around the world, who has failed terribly, you know? What was it that the reason they came back again? Um, I want you to look at this. Nyani aite, nyani aite. No, bookworm. Bookworm, bookworm. Seriously, I I just feel that you know the universe like so. In the mere bookla na mudi padi you know. Seriously, I don't want it's so thick, but something from that captured me. It's like how some people who failed come back again. So some of the interesting people who have failed and, and come back, what was it? And all these people, something that is very common is clarity. After they have failed, what do they see? What do they learn from the failure? And how do they clarify and come back to do the things better? Because in this book, it clearly says every failure, it's not, um, it's not about, um, no, every struggle, it's not a failure. It's an opportunity to be better. Nice. Okay. That's what you're sharing. So take it as an opportunity to learn, to better ourselves. And, and um, this is when we say you have courage. Because only when you have courage to accept that you are a failure and let go the ego, see, this courage, only then you can excel. Seriously. How, how is it, Vanita, that you, you started to read all books already? I <laughs> like I say, you need to relearn, you know, you have to unlearn to learn things, right? Um, we cannot always think that you are enough. There's, there's so many contents out there. So when you want to learn the right thing to change your mindset, like you was asking, mindset. So I need to read people, people, people who has come out from, from struggles, people who has come out. See, COVID thing is a, is, is a, is a natural thing that we can't do something about it. But things who have failed, that could be... um due to reasons like financial breakdown, it could be a family loss, it could be a divorce. You know, some people even go through divorce. Mm -hmm. It could be um, it could be a career change. A lot of things could be causing you a lot of uh, disturbance. But what is it that small little things that makes you to be a better person is to courage to accept your failure, courage to accept and see that problem. The problems cannot go away by you running away from them. So uh, we have... Uh... A uh, uh, viewer has typed in this. He said that uh, yes, every day is like Sunday. <laughs> every day is Sunday. Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> Arish, I'm sure every day is a Sunday. Even if it's a raining day, it's a Sunday for you. All, all for us. <laughs> Seriously, you, you know, um, public holiday. We don't even know there's public holidays recently. So every day becomes like a holiday for us now. If you keep learning. So I was yes. telling to my kids. Your school holiday started, it doesn't look so me like a school holiday. You keep doing things, you know, like a normal day. So I don't know um, how do people perceive this? You know, now you're home with kids. You're now home with uh, extended family. Sometimes because people used to uh, not so comfortable with leaving extended family. Now everybody's back home. And um, now, 
So how to find ways to make sure that the reader looks wow to you is heavenly. So write colors, maybe surround yourself with nice shades of colors. End up pretty cool, you know, maybe nice flowers, nice music ambience. Uh, I mean, you need to create your ambience. I think that is very important. Like you oh, see, I love oh. light blues, light shades. Yes, I can see that. Calm. You know, also uh, taking into consideration that since most of us are at home, most, of course, the essential or the healthcare workers or the healthcare givers are out there fighting this uh, deadly d disease. Um, but of course, again, we want to talk about immunity, right? I mean, you are the more fitter you are, the more stronger you are. Doesn't mean that you can't get it, but of course, it's how strong your immunity is. So, um, just talking about physical, I think mental also is very important. Um, if you just keep on sitting and say you're going to be a loser for the next 30 days, on the 31st day, on the 31 day, or the 30, 32, or whatever days, you'll notice that you will be a failure because I think it's what you are telling to yourself. But mm -hmm. what affirmations, think, huh? Affirmations. Yeah. What so what I think is the the you are listening actively to what you are saying. So what you are saying is what goes back to you, and then you are becoming one of it. And Very you know, true. you know, every morning you wake up and say, "Oh, I'm so tired. I need to go to work." Oh, it's another day. You know, then you are automatically tuning yourself into that motion, into that rhythm, and into that character. And that is why you notice that for the entire day, your life just sucks. That I need to talk about this, uh, what you say, right? So I created this uh, initiative called the Power Lips Challenge. Okay, so what happens is that um, lipstick, it's actually all the ladies have to just Post, it's a contest that I'm doing for all ladies in Singapore that uh, when you wear a lipstick, right, um, it is not just about colors, it's what you say, the kind of powerful words that you say to uh, motivate yourself, to motivate the people around you. So now I'm doing this uh, a Power Lips contest, okay? Um, it has started and will be ending end of May and I have amazing ladies participating. They say, Vanita, thank you for giving us this challenge to do because if they can whip out their favorite lipstick colors and wear and they need to have a caption to it. And the caption is basic, basically could be something inspiring, something motivational because what you what you wear has no meaning if it doesn't have good words coming up from it. So a good caption comes with, so it's 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 so well resonates what's happening right now because people are talking so, you know, hurting words. People are shouting. People are, you know, cursing. Or people are making, you know, whining sound. Uh, yeah, and the workers, uh, yeah, and the pizza could come along with it. Either they're already getting this, you know. Why you need to help them? They already have money, you know. Kudtaalam tappu, kudta vitaalam tappu, you know. So mouth path kano. <laughs> exactly. Okay, now my term is bad. We have also Arish say that to be successful, you need to fail first. Then only you can enjoy the achievement and value of the moment. There you go, Arish. I think uh, you have failed. I mean, every one of us has failed. And uh, I think how we come out from there, I think that matters a lot. Because if you do choose to stay where you are or where we are, then of course things will never get better. Absolutely. Okay, well, I mean, um, we, as, as we are diving in and we are going into more different topics, and of course, a few more comments has just came in. But let me just ask you something, right? Um, as a professional like yourself in your field, nowadays we don't dress up. Hmm? Right? We don't dress up. Who There's don't no, dress up? No, every, I mean, most, most, most. Okay, All right? okay. Why right? they don't dress up for party, you don't dress up for weekend, you don't dress up or you don't, you know, look good and feel good. Could be that also like a self-care that might be affecting an individual because I believe the perfect or the beautiful mechanism of a human body it's mind our outer and within and also the experiencing of life as we go on so if we don't start appreciating ourselves i mean you know there's no reason for you to wear a sari nowadays right i mean you're not going for wedding um, <clears throat> friday night oh i'm chilling out with my jeans and my you know meeting up with colleagues and friends no nothing of that about that 
or even let's say I'm going for a drive or whatever activity is all being stopped. Could be one of the reasons why people are falling under stress. Because as an image consultant and image expertise, it's the it's a self expectation is not there. Mm, now, okay, whatever, uh, like I said, even started, you see, that's why I started my initiative, right? You know, check out your lipsticks, create um, opportunities to dress up or create. I even did a hairspray, uh, hairspray initiative because just because no hair salons doesn't give you a reason not to take care of your hair and tie up your hair well, you know. Um, so things like this small little initiative actually helps a lot because you see, um, the mindset of people is that now I'm at home. I'm only at home. Why do I need to look good? Okay. Um, I'm going to cover myself in masks. So what, why should I, you know, look good when I go out, you know, why see if you are not concerned about looking good, then why do you get pattern mask? Some people are getting all kinds of pattern. Got Barbie doll, got Mickey Mouse, got you know army. So you know you want to look good when even when you want to go out to get your necessities. Now being home, I just want to share with you a very interesting. I had a conversation with one lady, here, a lady friend. I don't want to mention him. She was telling many times, sick and tired. You know, I'm so fed up with my life. Every day, cook, 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 cook at home. And I told her why. <laughs> then, no, oh, my husband doesn't want to cook at home. You know, I only have to wash and 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 do everything. Then I told her. I asked her one question. What have you been wearing at home? I asked her this question. And she said, just shorts and t-shirt. Then I told her, can you show me exactly what you wear? So she showed me something. And uh, I was laughing at her. And I told her, if you keep wearing this at home, your husband is not even going to come nearby you <laughs> and ask you uh, or, or even talk to you or whisper, or feel even connecting with you. And she said, why? I'm cooking for him. You know, I wash for him. How dare he doesn't want to come? I say, come on. You need to create the fine, that, that, that some lovingness in you. Who's going to look at you? You need to dress up for him. I never ask you to go Baba room, but take out all those lingeries that you have not worn. This is the best time to wear and tell him, you know, hubby, tomorrow you cook, okay? I got to stop you here for a while. What are you trying to do? Are you, are you trying to increase the population here or what? No, no, no. I'm just teasing, you see. Make make life interesting. There's no such thing as saying that who's at home and all that. The people are there. If you don't make your life every day interesting, something fun, something romantic, something... When you have partner, fine-tune with your partner. You see, relationships, some problems, we don't know. We are not we are not counsellors. So you need to know what's how you want to make yourself happy, baby. Things that... If you think cooking is so tiresome for yourself... So ask yourself, get yourself a nice apron, you know. So I find that they have nice aprons and they never find the opportunity to wear the apron. So wear your apron and look good and say, wow, you're a beautiful chef for the day. You know, things that you can improve your day-to-day -day things. Um, so it's, it's about feeling good. You see, if you don't look good yourself waking up in the morning, you will never feel good. Looking good is very important. When you look up and ask yourself, you know, I need to do something to my hair. You know, it's very dry. I need to do something to my hair. I feel like, you know, um, so it doesn't mean that you need to shut down totally. That's just because you're home. You need to fine tune what you can do at home. Of course, you, you there's no reason for you to take out wear your sari. But there is always a reason to glam up for you to take your own selfies. Learn how to take selfies. There are so many people teaching you how to teach selfies, right? And the yeah. angle pattern, you know, so many things are there. So um, I'm, I'm very happy that so many communities are coming out with initiatives, you know, um, how to dress up like the previous year's actress. So the girls, ladies are dressing up to look like, you know, um, how does the olden day Sawatri looks like, olden Manjula, and they're dressing up, pick up the sari, reason to look good. So... Maybe your children or husband might find you weird. But I'm telling you, even husbands are also doing something strange with your beard. You know, all the beards are having some beard stories behind also. So I even have some further friends in India who's doing uh, the most um, best lockdown beard. Wow. You know, some activities. Yes. Okay. Yes. So even when you have moustache and beard, how can you improve? How do you look good? So they're having a, a, a little challenge of the most... Most, uh, I think as a lockdown best beard or something like that, it's happening okay. there. So it's about how you want to create what you want to do. Good. I mean, 
ningle it's, it's it's in you like for me i play with colors so i like colors and i play brings colors brings the right kind of mood if you feel that blue suits you wear more blue if you think red is something that you know doesn't bring you connection then don't wear red um so like for example my husband is not so uh, doesn't like so much of yellow so if i want to wear yellow in front of him I, he doesn't like so i'll wear yellow outside but at home i avoid a yellow you know things like this small little things that you want to improve um yeah because luckily my husband got no facebook but he's cooking every day he's enjoying it oh. wow. uh, and then uh, every day he's enjoying little little new things i even have started up a small little uh, youtube for him which he has never wanted to start up and so i create him he say papa's cooking so that because he wants he feels cooking is to connect with kids because kids are at home so you know i don't want the kids to buy from outside get food from outside so we create so she feels like eating pizza we get my husband does pizza she feels like eating um, um for example the other day she was asking can i have hainanese chicken rice he made chinese chicken rice so basically wow. you connect with your family bonding and you do things with it so you won't find that the cooking becomes a chore you know so grocery shopping becomes more fun and you cook for the kids and all eat together yeah so it becomes a bonding you know yeah. you know i got to say this right i mean it has became uh, a, a talent in the kitchen and we saw a lot of chefs we saw yes. a lot of cookies. people are starting to exercise and you know the whole house has been transformed uh, you know the usually in the past where dreams were the one that is always crowded but right now people are coming up with innovative right i see the push up challenge i saw the burpees challenge and so much of positivity is going on i'm i'm very sure even after post 19 uh, eventually goes away i think people have adopted a very healthy lifestyle people tend to spend more good time with the families mm. uh, people tend to appreciate the time with their loved ones so i think Correct. this is the best time that ever people learned and explore their talents in them because all these while people are just purely into oh i'm late for work oh i'm coming back for home you uh-huh. know people are through, going through that through that a very robotic life but right now there is a you know everybody got to chill let's take a chill pill you know everybody got to take a chill pill and this is where we going to see more talents coming up and who knows you know there's a even a possibility of different careers might also come in right Don't Actually, you think so? Actually, Ryan, I I would like to suggest. I mean, it's really yeah. up to them. Um, find yeah. a corner of your house or yeah. a favorite place where you can kind of like um, um, chill out. Okay. You know, a favorite corner. It could be a table. It could be a chair. It could be a cozy cushion. Uh, create a little uh, um, comfort corner. Okay. Why I'm saying that is because when you have a nice chill out corner, you know, whatever um, problems you have, whatever frustrations you have. This chill out corner is the place is the go to place for you to relax yourself. You can have your coffee, your tea, your 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 matcha or whatever. Relax at that corner. Create something. I think every part of our house there is an opportunity for us to create a cozy corner. So find that cozy corner. Decorate it with something or or, or set up with something. It can be anything, but just find a cozy corner. And when you are in that cozy corner, there should you should block out anything that you know makes you angry makes you feel sad or what so that should be a corner for you to chill out if you can try this everybody could just go out there find the little corner of your house because now it's everybody staying home because you can't go out anywhere there's even if you go to the park there you can't stay too long you can't you go to the beach there you can't stay too long whatever your home you spend so much for renovations you spend so much for your house you might have been living whether it's a two room flat one room flat five room flat mansion bungalow whichever part of your house is just find one corner of yourself okay it's just for you and just for yourself alone you're angry your tension you're happy you just go there chill out so Maybe can i ask you right uh, what is the one talent that you found during this period of time one is one one talent that without you realizing it so it's a hidden talent that me just or or apre or flow out and it just came in within the flow ah. <coughs> uh-huh. <laughs> national dance huh? dancing oh, that one you can dance what uh, because you see um i used to dance a lot younger days and um i used to dance in a group and all that 
But I realized that now staying at home, right, I, I realized that every time little move, I wake up, I go around, I do a little bit of dance movement, you know, watching everybody doing some talent. I, you know, frankly, everybody's asked me, Marita, when are you going to start your TikTok? I was like, no, I'm not into TikTok. Uh, oh, so I was like, something that comes naturally. You see, I just want to move my, my body. When you move your body to some kind of uh, 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 music, to some kind of, uh, uh, of um, disturbance, when you move your body, it could be some dance, it could be just, you know, you feel relaxed. It's a kind of way to release your tension, you know. Just to do is like, it's like this already, yeah? you know, you're exercising your shoulder, you are, you're just getting into the beat, you know, just little doing things like this, you get into the beat, hum your favorite song, you will, you will just feel so delighted, you know, you feel so delighted one corner. So, today you know music, you can create your own music, you know, you can find something and create your own music, your own dance like that. So, something like this, but uh, yeah, other talent are kind of like but uh, what is this happening? Yeah, and I think it's very, very crucial at this point of time where um, I think since we are staying most of the time at home, um, pick up some kind of hobby, you know, reading a book. or I mean, of course, as much as possible, we are trying not to getting exposed as much. Uh, of yes, course, if you have yes, exercise, yes. then you go and exercise and, you know, take your precautions. But if it's possible, try to explore at home because, you know, I was just having a chat with my wife uh, just a few days back. Um, this is the first time ever I've stayed at home continuously for more than 24, 27 hours. I am <laughs> not left. And, and to be very honest, it, the time just flies so far because there's so many sem seminars. So is the wife happy time. about it or sad about it? Uh, <laughs> she, she might be happy for sure. <laughs> but of course, uh, what people are like... Uh, you know, she, of course, she won't say that. But, but, but I think it's, it's so much, um, it just time flies. It just, yes. your, your you career, find that the time is getting very short, now every day? Yeah. Your career, I find master, time yeah? is so short. The time you wake up to do something, so short. Both, both it, like something career, keeps coming up. You know, both of our career, we always spend, you know, meeting clients and meetings and, you know, moving to different places. But right now, it's everything just at home. So we, we, we tend to have that luxury of non-travel time and, you know, saving that particular, you know, schedule all at home. So I think things are getting better. I think to be very honest with you, I think I'm very comfortable with this kind of lifestyle, honestly. It seems like, it seems like it's like an early retirement. You know, you, you know, this is how it feels like, you know, you wake up, because the best thing about us the is... The early retirement plan, I mean, I think you're there already. You're already there. Um, I think in, in also it's, it, it gave me an ample of time to plan ahead. What are the things supposed to be done? And all these things have not been able to materialize because we are always engaged with so much of things. But right now, you know, things are just within us. We can start planning and executing it. So I think this is very good. Um, I mean, okay. I got okay, to tell you. Actually, um, Recently, we kind of uh, planned our um, insurance and all that. We have to reshuffle some of our insurance plans okay. for education and everything because, you know, what's going to happen, you know, for the kids and all that stuff. So, I think this is the best time for people who has not uh, think about writing wills. Think about it. Think about finding our insurance planners. You know, this is the best time to get to... Read about all your insurance, uh, you know, because many a times, right, we have uh, a lot of insurance and we don't know what it covers. Take it out and read about it. Um, yeah, all these little financial plans that you need to see yourself. So I think uh, um, when I'm staying at home, I realized there's so many things that I, I needed to reshuffle. The bills, files, um, actually, there are small, small little things that we have not done. I'm looking into it right now. So, um becomes uh we we become like a handyman at home you know small little things that was not working i managed to get it work done with my son you know unscrew it and and work it done so yeah we i don't think so i would have ever done that previously before this circuit definitely not so, so, i mean as much as we um uh, <laughs> we want to say it's blessed but uh we know situations are not the same for everyone some are really yes. uh having difficulties financial uh we we know some people that already having a 
big financial issues as well. You know, yeah. paying for their staff or even for the matter of day in, day out of daily needs. So um, it's very hard feeling to see that people from all walks of, walks of people coming forward to, you know, to appreciate, to, to give That's whatever good. they could, you know. And uh, I think it's sharing is, you know, is caring or caring is sharing. It's, it's, it's where is the love right now we need. That, that's Humanity what we need. is not lost. There you go. So the, we, we say... Humanity is not lost. So at least, you know, that's the best way to soothe Mother Nature. Yes, so yes. Mother she... Nature is angry right now. So we soothe her by, you know, be more giving. Uh, be not so egoistic, not so um, bad with our words for one another, you know. So I think this is the best time to heal ourselves and um, best time to get yourself positive. I think Vanan, you have taken a good, yeah. good one hour. Seriously. Sorry, yes, yes, we we crossed over, right? Yeah. <laughs> we for Thirty minutes. So this is what happens. So we come to the last part. The last part. Tip for the day. I mean, I shared what I think. Everybody out there, I don't know how you do what. What are you going to do? Okay, even if you think it's toilet, okay, find one corner there to go and chill out. It, trust me, it makes a big hell of a difference. A chill out corner. Anything. Okay. Um, you can create a small little fountain there, create a small little garden there, uh, or, or or anything. Just find a place to chill out. Because, like I said to you, nobody else could come to that place. It's kind of your own zone area. Okay. You have many rooms, you could have many any parts of the house. Just go to a place there, chill out. Um this one gives you a chance to clarify yourself, um, to give you a, a better way to improve yourself. Um, ask yourself what you think has happened for the day. Why did you lose your temper or why do you feel irritated about it? You know, certain things you can declutter your mind and improve yourself. So find a nice little corner. Try it. It really worked for me and for many people that I've spoken to. If you think it works for you, do let me know. Because I think that would be an amazing thing for you all to share. Uh, yes, that's my tip of the day. Thank you, V, for joining us. I mean, this is what we always do. <laughs> and always time has been, um, not been on our side. But for now, we have all the time. So that's why we went uh, past over one hour. And uh, this yes. seems like a seminar, no? I think we should organize one. Maybe we can talk it out later. That we can conduct a, a live experiences sharing session. And ah, can, maybe talent, huh? Yeah, you we want can to do talent? Yeah, why not? Why not? We can do some uh, <laughs> invitations and do some talents, you know. Everybody come so, up what's with your own. talent singing? Ah, uh, wow. Mm, that's a very. You always deep. do TikTok. Yeah, that's sideline. So, you see, you can do your eyebrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff I I, I, I explored. But uh, I think one of the most is the, the the feeling, right? I explored that the feeling of being at home is so wonderful. You know, spending all the time and working from home. That's it. You know, I have already done for the day by two o'clock. I've done all my work, so you just chill. You know, when you work for yourself, you don't need to get any approvals or get any kind of permission. You just do what. You feel like doing and because you're running your own business yes. right that's the best part of it all right we i think we come to the end and uh, um, let's reconnect it again thank you i think it was a very good sharing session i mean there's a pe some more people are uh, posting out a different kind of questions so in our person, platform uh, i also give two tips right for how to reduce puffy chicks sir. yes and you also give the tip of uh the corner stay in your favorite corner right? Ah, corner. Yeah, just go to your corner there. Have fun with colors. Uh, colors makes a difference. Um, find soothing colors that connect with you. Um, like things that you like, the colors that you really feel calm. Okay, once you think the color calms you down, just look at the colors there. Try to surround yourself with colors. Really helps you to calm your mind. So colors plays a part too. All right, with that said, we are coming to the end, so we will catch you up again. These are Double Bs. Yes. Vanessa and Vance online. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>